And what you're about to see or what you are seeing is exactly what we were looking for, cheetah. So the luck has changed it seems for me on my interview drive um, from Gorilla missing her to finding these two beautiful guys. And what an amazing sighting. All right. Vili from Oklahoma, you're asking that question uh, regarding the strength of the cats as then they don't look as strong as leopards and you are 100% correct. Um, cheetahs are not adapted or designed for uh, muscle. They are designed for um, speed, agility, and um, basically most of the times they target small prey, uh, smallish prey, uh, such as uh, gazelle, which you'll find in East Africa or in this area. You'll find impala, um, which is the common species for them. And then um, you'd also look at steenbuck and daker at times. But yes, they're not as strong, um, as I mentioned. These guys, as you see, they've got very sl uh, slick and long bodies, uh, elongated bodies. They're much longer, they are all quite longer than uh, leopards. Um, a little bit taller as well than what you'd find with female leopards. Uh, some of your big male leopards can compete uh, size-wise with a female cheetah, possibly a uh, youngster one. But these are two big males at the moment. Um, remember, it's very important that you keep in mind that cheetah are uh, built and adapted for speed. Uh, they're the fastest land living mammal um, on earth, reaching speeds up to about 60-65 miles per hour. Um, can be in kilometers is about 100-110 kilometers per hour, which is extremely fast if you can imagine. And they will keep that speed um, only for a few seconds. And then by the time, if they get lucky uh, on the kill, then it's, it's, it's uh, uh, energy spent well worth. Uh, but otherwise, if they miss, then it's recovery time period. And it takes them several minutes uh, to recover uh, because the amount of energy they spent on, on, on building up that power is amazing. Hi Dave, um, thank you for your, again, good question. What is the largest prey they can catch? These are two males, and uh, males uh, can uh, hunt together at times. It's a coalition, probably brothers, um, well, definitely brothers. And they, uh, as I mentioned earlier, they are a little bit larger um, than females, and they can bring down, uh, we've seen it before, wildebeests, um, juveniles to almost, or sub-adults to almost adults. Uh, and the wildebeest is the ones we saw previously on the on our segment. Um, so those two at the back there that we saw, which is quite far off though, that would be perfect for these guys to bring down. Um, other animals, other prey, uh, such as uh, kudu, we've seen as well in areas that lack um, small prey. Uh, small prey such as impala, or they've got low density of impala or springbuck. Uh, we've seen them also catching um, young kudus. And I don't know, I'm not sure if Byron or Tristan has seen kudu, um, but kudu is the second largest antelope in southern Africa. And um, yeah, we've seen them several times in Namibia doing that, bringing down juvenile kudus. We would definitely want to stay with these two boys for some time. It is a sighting you don't really see often. Uh, so if you are ever coming on safari uh, in Africa and you do manage to see them, my advice would be stay as long as possible. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, and as, we, as I said earlier, quite a rare sighting.